Okay, so now we're looking at the humerus, your upper arm bone there. Okay, so starting at the top of it, we have the head of the humerus right here. This is what's articulating with the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Okay, then we have a neck. Uh, in the humerus's cases, we technically have two necks. So the neck is kind of where it begins to thin out from the head itself. Uh, but with the way that the humerus is shaped, we have an anatomical neck right at the base of the head here. But we also have a surgical neck right here. Okay, we've got the greater and lesser tubercles. So the greater is kind of higher up on top here. The lesser is kind of a little further down, both sticking out projections there. The intertubulicular sulcus, or groove, is in between them. You can see the deltoid tuberosity, kind of this roughened part of the humerus. Going down towards the bottom here, uh, so this will kind of be where your elbow would be, uh, we have a medial epicondyle. Okay, so this is the large projection off to the side. Uh, it's your funny bone. It's that part you hit and it hurts like crazy. Not so funny. Okay, and then this, of course, on this side over here would make this our lateral epicondyle. Okay, you can see this kind of hole right here. Okay, this is the coronoid fossa. And you have two projections here and here. On the medial side, is the trochlea. On the lateral side is the capitulum. On the back side, another hole here, is the olecranon fossa. 